Hello there. Thanks so much for joining me today. This is going to be a nice, calm, stretchy, short flow. We're going to start in a nice, beautiful, seated position. So go ahead and meet me on your mat in your most comfy seat. If you would like a bolster or a block under your sits bones, that would be fantastic. Once you get here, go ahead and grow the crown of the head towards the ceiling. Close those eyes down and bring the hands to the knees or the thighs, whichever feels best for you here. In the slowness is where I find clarity. So we're gonna try to be slow, taking it down just a notch. Really feeling into how we're feeling, how the poses make us feel today. Just really tapping inside. Seeing if through stillness you can find some clarity. Making sure that that breath is going all the way into the belly. Filling the lungs up as big and as full as we can get them. And then with control, we allow all that air to come out. And butterfly, those eyelids open. We're going to take circles with our eyes. So this is in turn going to give us a full neck circle. So go ahead and take the gaze over towards the right. Go all the way up towards the ceiling. The gaze goes towards the left. And gaze comes down. Do a few of these going this way. And we will reverse the circle. And now, so go ahead and go from left to right. Down. And up. And we all meet back in a neutral seat. Take the arms up and overhead. Big circles back, opening up through the shoulders, all the way down, reaching as far forward, and then all the way up and back. Oh, yeah. Do a few of these going this way, and we will reverse the circle, making sure that you can feel those shoulders really opening here. Oh, yeah. And let's reverse it so they come up and around. Oh, yeah. Noticing the difference from the forwards versus going backwards with the arms. One is probably going to be way more powerful and strengthening than the other. Very nice. Go ahead and send that left leg out. Right foot comes into the left thigh. Inhale the arms up. And exhale, we fold. Just walking the hands forward keeping the gaze in front of us we're not rounding here so keeping the gaze up allowing the stretch in the hamstring so trying our best to straighten through that leg we do not want any pressure on the knee though and breathe Slowly, we walk the hands up, and we're going to send the right leg out. Left foot comes into the right thigh. Inhale the arms up and overhead, and exhale, we hinge at the hips and walk the hands forward. Once again, gaze is straight, no rounding through the spine here. And your knee, if, if it feels good, you can slightly bend it, but otherwise we are trying today to straighten this leg. Flexing that foot towards the face. Should feel amazing. And then walk the hands up. We're going to bring both the feet to the mat. Knees are up. Hands behind us pointed towards the feet. And we're just going to send the hips up on an inhale. Engaging the glutes and the thighs, coming in for a reverse tabletop. If it feels good, you can take the gaze behind you, dropping that head backward. 
only if it feels good. Breathing. And release and come and send those hips back. Mermaid the legs to the right or the left. And then we're coming in for our tabletop, our all fours position. Once you get here, we're going to go ahead and take our cat cow. Dropping that belly, lifting that chest on the inhale. And rounding through the spine on the exhale. Let's do a few of these. Matching up that movement to your breath. Warming up through the spine here. Go ahead and take one more round here of our cat cow. And we'll all knee in a neutral, all fours position. Go ahead and kick that right leg back, keeping the toes on the mat, stretching through that calf on that right leg. Should feel pretty nice there. You bring this knee to nose, pulling up, really, really trying to get that knee to the chest here. And then we're going to step it or bring it through in between the hands. Coming in for our low lunge here. We're going to keep the hands on the mat. If you don't want the hands on the mat, you can come up maybe on your knee. Or you can bring the arms up overhead, whatever you're looking for today. Very nice. We're going to straighten through this right leg and we're going to pivot this left one and we're going to walk our hands around to the back. Left hand plants, right hand up and overhead. Beautiful gate pose. And we're breathing. Chest is radiating towards the sky here. This right hand is actively reaching up and overhead. And we are breathing. We are not holding or clenching our breath. And we're going to come back to the front, walking the hands forward, coming back in through our lunge, pivoting on that back foot. And this time we're going to come up. And we're going to bring the right hand to the right side of the mat. If you need a block, grab a block. Otherwise, you're going to inhale this left hand up and over towards the right. If it feels good, you can take the right hand to the right thigh and just actively reaching this left hand over towards the right. Beautiful. Release and step it back into our all fours. Oh yeah, maybe take the hips from left to right here. And then we're going to step the left foot back, getting that calf stretch all down the left side, pushing through that heel. Nice little rock forwards and backwards. And we're going to bring this knee to the chest, hugging it in as hard as you could pull it up here. Really, really, really using the compression here. And then we're going to step it in between the hands, low lunge, hands on the mat. Or they can be up, whatever you did on the other side, you should do on this side as well. Feeling into these hips here. And then we're going to pivot on that right foot and walk the hands around. Right hand plants, left hand up and overhead. Chest is lifted. Gate pose. Left hand's actively reaching towards the front of the mat. Breathing. And then we walk the hands back down and around, coming back into our low lunge here. Oh yeah, and this time we're gonna rise up on an inhale. 
In this time, we're going to stretch over. So left hand plants, right hand up and overhead. And like I said, if left hand needs to be on the left knee, it's great. However, you wanna get that right side stretched. Like I said, a block would be helpful. And we come back around, plant the hands, and step the foot back. All fours. We're going to walk the hands slightly forward, tuck in the toes, and then send the booty up, down dog. Very nice. Once you get here, go ahead and pedal the feet out. Get a nice little stretch through the hamstrings. And then we're just going to Inhale, right leg up. Roll forward and bring the knee to the right wrist. Coming in for pigeon here. Lowering down that back leg. Sitting up nice and tall here. So bringing the hands to the mat, maybe to the knees, the foot, whatever feels good for you here. We're staying lifted. We are stretching through that left hip flexor here. And the outer right thigh and hip. Breathe. If it feels good, you can lift that back knee up. Point that toe. Release. Maybe take in a mermaid. If you would like to try for that, you just hook this foot. And then you bring this arm, this right hand around to touch or grab. Only an option. You don't have to. <sighs> Beautiful. Planting the hands, tucking the toes, and stepping it back. Down dog. Oh, yeah. Other side. On an inhale, left leg sweeps up, three leg dog. Bring it forward into pigeon. So this left knee is coming towards the left wrist. Right knee softens onto the mat. Hands on the mat or on your knee and your foot to help lift you up here. Breathing, I know we, we love to fold here, but I don't want us to fold today. I want us to stay lifted in our pigeons. And maybe trying to bring that right foot in. Just an active stretch here. We're not reaching for it. Uh-huh. Let it go. If you did the mermaid, you can try for mermaid on this side. Picking that foot up. Hooking it with your right arm. And then bringing that left hand around to meet that right. Only an option. Never do what doesn't feel good for you here. Beautiful. Plant the hands, tuck the feet, send it back. Down dog. Roll forward. Come onto the knees. Inhale, right hand up towards the ceiling. And let's thread the needle through the left here. Right hands up towards the sky, or you can take it towards the right. Left hand up towards the sky, or you can take it towards the right thigh. I'm glad I noticed it and got it right there. Trying to keep the hips square here. Beautiful. Release that bond. Hand goes up towards the sky. It plants down and right hand sweeps back up. Beautiful. Release. Left hand sweeps up. And we're threading the needle through the right. Maybe bringing this right hand to this right thigh. Otherwise, it can stay up and overhead. Trying to get the hips square. And we breathe. Gently we release that bond, hand goes up, plants on the floor, and then left hand sweeps up. Oh, yes. 
and sit back onto the heels for just a second. Nice inhale and exhale here. And mermaid the legs to the right or the left. We're coming down on our backs if you want to rock and roll. And now would be the jazzy fun time to do such a rock and roll and fun. And once you're done with it, you can meet me on your back. You can hug the knees in. And then go ahead and send the left leg down, pulling in the right knee, sending it over towards the left, coming onto the outer left hip. Take the right arm out to the side and take your gaze towards that right arm. And you can bring your left hand on your right knee if that feels nice. Trying to keep both shoulders on the mat. Making sure when we breathe in that it's filling up our bellies. Allowing our brains and our minds and our nervous system to know that this is great. This is absolutely perfect and we are good here. Slowly we come back to center, hug both knees in, and then send the right leg out long, hugging that left in, and then pulling it across the body, coming to that outer right hip, left hand goes out, gaze goes towards the left hand, right hand's on left knee, if it feels good, both shoulders are on the mat, and we are breathing into those bellies. ourselves back and we come in for our shavasana so sending the legs out long tucking the shoulder blades palms face up <sighs> allowing the body to absorb all that wonderful energy it just produced be proud of yourself find the stillness Find your clarity. We live in a world that is just full of rushing and chaos. The best thing that we can do for ourselves and others is to find stillness. And to acknowledge the clarity that comes from the stillness. We don't need the rush or the hustle to make us happy. We have everything we need to make us happy right here, right now. Accept that truth. Slowly roll over to one side, using your arm as a little pillow, pausing here. And then we put 
push up into our comfy seated position. Hands at heart center, Anjali Mudra. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you feel calm and a little bit of stillness in your body. And I hope that it brings you clarity. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste.